Hello, my name is Hasnain Shabir, and I'm a thermal controls architect in the Server Hardware Engineering Group. And my job is to save you power as much as I can without sacrificing performance. This whole demo here is set up to help you understand that Dell is doing a great job cooling the systems via air cooling or liquid cooling. But my focus right now is on air cooling because many customers cannot afford or does not have the capital cost to get the liquid cooling infrastructure in place. So they are nervous and understandably so. So our goal is let's stretch the cooling capability from an air cooling perspective so that customers can utilize their existing infrastructure and get the maximum performance out until they figure out the liquid cooling aspect of it. So this system, as an example, this is one of our uh, two U boxes in which the front end has been optimized for air cooling. And the idea is, how do I run my fans at the lowest possible speed and cool this box? Fan power is a significant chunk of waste power in the box. So as you can see from this example here, this chart gives you an idea of how the fan power changes as the fan speed goes up. You could be running the fans at six watts of fan power consumption and can go all the way up to 187 watts power consumption, which is by the way, TDP of some CPUs. So you can see that if Dell does a good job from a controls perspective, controlling the fan to the lowest possible state, we are saving you significant amount of fan power. So let's look at this particular view. This system is actually operational. It's running a workload, which is approximately 600 watts of system power. And the CPU spec is 95C. So I'm cooling the CPU very close to the spec. I'm not overcooling. I'm not wasting any power. So by doing that, I'm only consuming 13, 14 watts of fan power, right? Now think about that. 13, 14 watts is only over here. Now from that perspective, I'm only consuming 2% of the system power. That's a very small chunk of system power being consumed for cooling only. If somebody doesn't do a good job of controls on this box and overcools things, you will start moving on this curve and you will slowly consume a significant amount of power that is complete waste, which means that you will be consuming extra power and extra airflow. So you can see that we are showing all those numbers here. We are showing what the fan power consumption is. We are also, Dell is very unique in this area. We only, we, sh we display the net airflow coming out of the box. No OEM or ODM actually does that. And how is that useful? Because then you can use that to size your cooling in the data center. So now, right now, the system state is very optimum. It is cooling everything to spec. Nothing is overcooled. There's no waste power. Let's say it's a white box system. So, so before I go into a white box vendor whose solution may not be optimized, I do want to highlight that the way we achieve this kind of efficiency in cooling is because we have this very unique closed loop controller, which is an AI based fuzzy logic controller that helps you fine tune the fan speed as a function of sensors in the box. So our systems contains 50 to 70 sensors for a specific config, which means that we are monitoring CPU temperature, memory temperature, drive temperature, PSU temperature, exhaust temperature, and we are dialing the fan speed so that all of these work in unison to the lowest possible fan power state without sacrificing cooling or reliability of the box. Now, let's understand what happens if you don't have all these selling points that Dell has. If you don't have that innovation in the box and if they don't do a good job cooling the fans, cooling the system with higher fan speed. So I'm going, so this is a hack 
of a Dell system that is allows me to set the higher fan speed than needed so that you can see what the impact is on the metrics over here. So, so take a look at this thing for a second. This is an optimum cooling state for the system. Now let's see what happens when I bump up the fan speed and I'm not no longer optimum. So I'm gonna bump it up. So this is a hack, it's not available on a real system. We could add it at some point. But the idea is, let's say this is a white box, not optimized from a fan control perspective. You can see the fan speeds are going up. We were operating around 25% before, 13 watts, and now the fan power is moving on this curve slowly. Not many people understand this curve and what impact it has on their system, right? So here you can see we were operating at 13 watts. We are already four times that power. All that power is waste power. You're not going to get anything out of it. CPU is being overcooled, but nothing from a performance perspective benefits you. So I think the key point again is, this is a Dell differentiated air cooling solution that you cannot get out of another vendor, where we put a lot of thought in the design of the system. So what I just explained is all about fan control, fan power optimization, and things like that. Now let's talk about how we optimize airflow in the box. And this animation here gives you an idea that we have what we call is a smart flow config, meaning that this system has been optimized for airflow compared to a standard config over here. So you can see by breaking the back plane into two parts, we have created a exclusive airflow channel that allows you significant amount of airflow from the middle compared to a standard config, which allows you to cool this box with some CPU skews that competitors can only cool via liquid cool. So we have given this the advantage to Dell that go ahead and buy these high-end CPUs and we can still air cool it and you don't have to upgrade your infrastructure to liquid cooling yet. Not that we don't want them to use liquid cooling because there are some skills that do require it. But in general, we want to maximize the return of investment for the customer. That you don't have to change your data center yet. You still get the high performance. Maybe they can plan for liquid cooling for the future, but we are still giving you the best thing out there in the market from air cooling perspective.